Oh, really? <laughs> well, how, what do you think happens when a health coach, the, the daughter of a baker, uh, begins her own bakery business? Well, she makes it delicious, of course, but healthy as well. Her name is Meg Reed. She's the owner of Life Breads, a new bread and a muffin bakery. I'm going to go ahead and add the muffins in there. You said those are your hot seller. They are. Right? They are. That along with banana bread. Oh, of course. Uh, banana bread came on strong during pandemic, right? Everybody was making banana bread? Yes. Yes. And sourdough. Yes. Do you do a sourdough at all? We do not, but we are trying to learn and add that to our repertoire. Well, learning. Um, what's new in bread? Because bread is Bread is eternal. <laughs> Bread is ancient, right? You would think so, but uh, when it comes to gluten-free, especially when it ta you're talking about food sensitivities, mm -hmm. it's not just, well, I'll maybe change out a few ingredients. Uh, Non-gluten grains do not react the same as gluten grains, so mm -hmm. you're not going to get as much of a rise. And that's kind of the unique thing about sourdough and why we want to get into it, mm -hmm. is simply because it brings some of that rise back but in the meantime we have mm -hmm. amazing breads that are all gluten-free all gluten-free now it, and it is a different kind of baking um one what's the one that's called what'd you call it accidentally happy accident happy accident white bread yeah now how is it a happy accident meg so my mom actually uh, she started the business she, these are all her recipes and she started wanting to make a honey oat bread Okay. And then she realized she didn't have any oats. She's oh. like, all right, let's just go for it. And what came out is this. It turned into a white bread, which is, you know, I like it because it's got, I like a bread that really tastes like a, um, a texture, mm -hmm. you know, not, not yep, just yep. ball it up, right? So that's, kind of, that's fun with that. Uh, what's this one, Meg? This is our paleo seed bread. So this is unique because it actually has no grain in it at all. No grain? This is nuts and seeds. Because a lot of people are going all grain free, right? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's why we call it our paleo bread. So it's according to the paleo restrictions. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also our softest bread. So I'll just give it a squeeze It here. is soft. And look at that, look at that squeeze. Isn't that it's nice? Beautiful. Oh my goodness. It also has some cardamom in it for that extra robust flavor. I know, I can taste it. It's an extra richness that's in there. Absolutely. Yeah. What about the, the final one here? So this is our garlic cheese bread. Garlic cheese. And this is a hot mm. seller. I recommend this for Italian food night. Oh well, yeah, Oops. it's got that. <laughs> it's nice and crumbling, isn't it? <laughs> no, I can, I can totally taste that with some olive oil mm -hmm. in, a, in a pasta dish. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yes. And so. it is wonderful that way um, with spaghetti, you know, with, uh, we can also make these into dinner rolls. Okay. Well, you're speaking of rolls, you told me that the muffins are, are huge sellers. And how did that happen? Because people want something sweet. Is that they it? do. They do want something sweet, but the muffin is kind of quintessential. It can be a dessert. It can be a breakfast, breakfast item. Breakfast, yes, or snack whenever you want it. <laughs> yes. Now, I, I think you told me a big seller is, is it the banana blueberry? Is that what this is? Oh, it, this is just blueberry. This is just the blueberry one. I'm going to take a little sample, which you yes, absolutely. did some of those here for me. So it, would you say this is the most sweet you're going to go? Are you going to do cookies or any kind we of... We do cookies as well. We do uh, sugar, chocolate chip, and snickerdoodle as well. This is, that's a good muffin. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now you're not a, you weren't a baker to start. I am not a baker. No. So tell me about that, how that came about. I know your, your dear mother loved to bake and your dad. Yes. So. He helped her. Uh, she had some mobility issues and so he was in the kitchen, you know, making sure everything got to her and she could do that. Um, but she started baking for my niece who has celiacs. Mm -hmm. Um, my parents adopted her as a baby, and they found out pretty quickly, but they had to change everything. So hmm. My family was gluten intolerant, but um, no one actually had that real autoimmune dysfunction. Right. And then from there, uh, my niece mm -hmm. had friends who had allergies, and then all of a sudden, you know, it was she was making all sorts of goodies for kids everywhere, and then it was people, and then it was just she wanted to go back to helping everybody in the Quad Cities. We're looking at a lot of pictures of your mom. Yes. Uh, Kat, who uh, who left this world very suddenly this past summer. She yeah. did. I'm so sorry about that, hon, but you're carrying on her legacy. I know that's what um, your dad wanted as well, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. He told me, he's like, whatever you think is right is what we'll do. And I looked mm -hmm. at everything we'd already done, and I remembered how much she would giggle. Hmm. Every time the bakery progressed, she would giggle so much. She had this big smile, and I go, I can't let that be for nothing. Mm. Yeah, well, so, that, so that, that's what brought you here. Are you going to, um, you feel like this, like bread is your future? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
think I might be managing for the future. Okay. But um, as far as baking, I don't think that's for me. Well, but but these are your dad really kind of developed he these does. recipes from from your mom's stuff, right? Is yes. that how that all evolved? Well, these are her recipes, and then he's just kept going with okay. them, and then as needed, yes, we do tweak okay. the recipes so that they are getting better and better. And, um, yeah. Well, it's Life Breads uh, opening soon. Uh, what's, your, what's your date? We are. We have actually two opening dates. April 22nd, we're doing a soft opening for business owners and managers because we're also interested in getting gluten-free into the Quad Cities. Good. Yes. Um, and then uh, in, in May as well. Right. No, no, no. Uh, April 29th is our uh, grand opening and ribbon cutting. And Got we are it. very excited. QC Life Breads, and you're wondering where they are. Um, you're in, in the Hilltop neighborhood of, uh, of on Harrison and Davenport. We are indeed. Yes. 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 Well, congrats on this. And Thank I, you. I know this is a. Um, this is kind of a, a legacy business for you, you know, to carry on this it for your mom. It is very much, yes. In, in your mom's memory. So, uh, so let's, uh, let's honor Kat in that way, too. Absolutely. Your, your, your mom, Kat. Uh, good to see you, Megan. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.